Arvidana takes his first ever PGS World Cup victory and Sabaki Miki returns to the top step of the podium for the second time this season. We're in Krenica, Poland for the second race of this World Cup doubleheader weekend and the final PGS race of the FIS Snowboard Alpine World Cup Tour to award the PGS Crystal Globes. In the women's final, world champion Sabaki Miki was back to her best on the blue course, having put aside the disappointment of not qualifying for yesterday's top 16 shootout. Daniela Elbing had been flawless all day long and she started off strong, whilst Miki made a mistake in the top part of the course, a section that had proved troublesome for many athletes. With a healthy advantage, Elbing piled on the pressure, pulling away from Miki and establishing a lead of almost a second. Sabaki Miki was left chasing and Daniela Elbing looked unstoppable with the finish line and her first World Cup victory of the season in sight. But in the closing stages, Elbing went a little bit too heavy on her heel edge, came to a stop and Miki seized the opportunity to fly into the lead. The world champion and junior world champion crossed the line first to take her second World Cup victory of the season and the third of her career. Daniela Elbing had to settle for second place, matching her finish in Carezza at the very start of the season. It was unlucky for the 25-year-old Austrian athlete who had looked comfortable on the red course all day long, but it's Sabaki Miki who claims the win in the final PGS race of the season. In the small final, Ladina Jenny claimed her first World Cup podium of the season, defeating Olympic bronze medalist Ramona Hofmeister. Yeah, yesterday I lost in the qualification, so uh, yesterday night I decided today to win. Today I win, so I'm so happy now. Then this is the last game in Persian Slalom, so I'm really happy. Thank you so much. While Sabaki Miki won today, Ramona Hofmeister did just enough to claim her fifth Crystal Globe in a row and the eighth of her career. Sabaki Miki takes the win in Kanonitsa and is joined on the podium with Daniela Elbing in second and Ladina Jenny in third. In the men's race, Arvid Auna from Austria was into his first big final in a PGS World Cup this season, lining up on the blue course against Maurizio Bormalini on the red. Bormalini started the season with a PGS win in Carezza and was in with a chance of repeating that today. But some small mistakes at the top and this major mistake down in the middle handed the lead towards Arvid Auna with the finish line in sight. Bormalini recovered nicely, but Arvid Auna had over a second advantage with just 10 gates to go. Bormalini was charging hard, slipped out on his heel edge, and Alvedana had an easy cruise to the finish of his first PGS World Cup victory of his career. Bormalini finished in second, taking his third World Cup podium of the season and the second in the PGS Tour. In a dramatic small final, Alexander Peya defeated Mirko Filosetti to take third. With Andres Pro Mega winning yesterday's race and Arvedana winning today's race, it's a great weekend for the Austrian snowboard team. Yeah, it was unbelievable to ride here. It was bumpy, it was difficult. But uh, I made my way through the difficult uh, stage and then I know, okay, if I get pressure on the other uh, competitor, then I have a chance. Despite not having the best weekend, Benjamin Carl's consistent performance for the rest of the season hands him the Crystal Globe in the men's PGS. Arvidana claims his first PGS World Cup victory ahead of Maurizio Bormalini in second and Alexander Peyer in third. The FIS Snowboard Alpine World Cup Tour now moves to Winterberg, Germany for a parallel style of World Cup and the final races of the season.